want to ask you one more thing about the quarterbacks. We talked to Will last week. What have you seen from him? The first couple um, of you know, that's just – he's – we just got to keep getting better as a team, as a unit, uh, unit on offense. Um, just keep progressing, and um, you know everything goes to take care of itself. So, yes, sir. Um, I would just say, I mean, it's fun. You know, we all hold everybody accountable the same at the same standard. Um, Try not to put too much pressure on anybody. Just to, you know, just let them know from my experience. Just to go out and just have fun. So. What do you see from Kyle out here? He had a great offseason. Say it again. What do you see from Kyle out here? He had a great offseason last summer, and then went down a week later. Um, you know, like it just goes back to what I said a minute ago about Will. Um, we just got to get better as an offense. Um, I speak for a whole team unit, um, not one. So. Um, I need to get better. They need to get better. We all need to get better and just keep progressing. Do you guys think you have enough over the top you know, for some deep shots this season with, with the collection of guys you have? Um, that's a question for Braves, not me. What, how do you feel about your ability to go over the top on somebody? Just, I mean, it shows out here on the practice field. You just go out and practice. You practice how you play. So just keep working at it and everything else take care of itself. Traylon talked a lot of it the other day about sort of uh, Feeling better physically, and it seems to be more confident as well. Wondering if you've seen you know, some of the results from that just so far. Yeah, he uh, he's done a great job. I mean, he's been focused uh, from the since the season has ended to this point. Uh, he's done everything we've asked him to do. He's uh, he's in great shape uh, mentally. Uh, he's ahead of the game. Uh, he's he's just uh, honestly he's he's been, he's been a different different player. So uh, extremely happy with where he's at. He busted it to get here on that. Uh, First day of phase, phase three, Cessna at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, well, that that well, that kind of speaks that kind of speaks uh, to his commitment, um, you know, and that's something that that's that's uh, showed up uh, since we've started. Uh, and I'm all I can tell you is I'm extremely happy with where he's at right now. Phillips and McMath both missed a lot of time last year. What uh, what do you need to see out of those two guys other than being healthy to know that they can contribute more on the offense than they did a year ago? Um, I, I think you know they're doing everything they can right now. Number one, they're learning a new offense. Um, they, they're playing themselves back in the in the, in the football shape and all those things. But um, I think at, at the end of the day, uh, as of right now, while we don't have pads on, uh, they're doing everything they can in, in terms of, of showing us uh, what they're capable of doing. What have you seen from Chris Moore just joining here recently? Uh, really good versatility. Um, you know, you can't you know a guy like that. Um, you know, it has that kind of versatility that can play a number of positions that gives you a comfort level as a coach. Yeah, I think just kind of bonding over football and our shared experiences and obviously hearing about the teams that he played for and those great Packers teams and me sort of found kind of getting obsessed with those teams a little bit. I think I always admired about him and I always appreciate those moments with him. What's some of the guidance that he gave you just throughout the, you know, as you got closer? I think just to be persistent and keep your head up and um, obviously with techniques stuff, the games change a lot, but in terms of mentality, of just grinding and, you know, doing your job and just keep working. I think that's just the main thing. Was it kind of natural for you to, you know, come in and play the same position that, that, that he played? Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, I'm moving along a little bit now, but obviously, left tackle is what he played and what I played for a while, so mm -hmm. thank you. Um, so I think, I think that means a little more for me to obviously play what did what he did on the field. I, I know back then, you know, when, when he was in the league, watch him, don't want you to step up. Okay. Uh, back when he was in the league, you know, it wasn't exactly the same as far as like how much money the guys made. But yeah. did you know that like did anything stand out to you just as far as like lifestyle wise? Um, yeah, obviously he had his own job in the off season and wasn't wasn't really truly a full time year round job, which obviously different. So um, that was definitely a difference in pay too, and I'm sure practices were a lot tougher and longer too. So um, puts things in perspective on days like today. Cool, yeah. Given any thought to uh, that preseason game one, Chicago, and uh, you know how exciting is that for you to have your first NFL game in Soldier Field? Yeah, it'll be cool. Obviously, I'll have a bunch of family and friends there, um, but I'm sure I'll be thinking more about being on the field for the first time in the NFL than than all the people that'll be there. So I kind of cross that bridge once I get there. We've got to get through OTAs and camp first.
position. Yeah, I mean, I think we, you know, just talking about it earlier, uh, as far as the O-line being a little bit different, you know, as far as working as one unit, uh, being versatile, you know, guys that, that can play different positions and, and execute different blocks and, and uh, just go out and do their job. So again, it, it's five guys working together, uh, trying to, to execute something each and every play. And, and we have versatile um, uh, offensive linemen who can play guard, tackle, center, you know, so just trying to get uh, uh, the best group of O-linemen out there that we can get. What's the urgency, Coach, to get the best five together and find who does the best five thing together as soon as you can? I, I mean, I think each and every day we're out here, there's a, there's a sense of urgency, you know, for everybody individually and as a whole uh, to continue to work and get better. And, and that's the that's the idea every time we step on the field. So, um, you know, as far as a sense of urgency, it's certainly there each and every day. You know, I can't give a timetable or anything like that. Like, you know, guys are out here and, and, and they're pushing each other and, and uh, uh, making sure they're trying to be the best player they can be that day and then step out there the next day and be better than they were the day before. How quickly do you want to try to figure out what Peter is and where he's going to play and where he fits into the overall picture? Yeah, I'm mean, Peter, uh, versatile offense, another guy who can play different positions, you know, uh, you know, can, uh, he's just a good offensive lineman. You know, we said that coming out of Northwestern, like he, he, uh, he's a guy that can play a number of different positions, has a good skill set, strong. Um, you know, I think coach said uh, when he gets his hands on guys, he, they, they usually stop. I think that was something he said. So, um, again, just a guy who, who can play multiple positions and he's, he's played multiple positions so far and just continue to work uh, to be the best old lineman he can be. You know, we obviously we've evaluated his game, you know, the whole season, and it's hard to speak to last year because I wasn't here last year. But you know, with Malik, it's all about moving forward. Uh, you know, he learned a lot last year, but now it's, it's time to move forward. Let's let's get a good grasp of this new offense we're putting in and, and take it from there. Bill, how's the logistics been with that in the offseason in regards to the new offense and working with Tim and kind of learning your way too through that? How's all that gone? Uh, it's, it's been really good. You know, Tim's really good, very detailed, very diligent. Um, so he's been great for the staff and, and uh, you know, it, it's been great getting ideas from other coaches and putting things together and uh, we're looking forward to uh, putting a product on the field. What you and learn from your new experience? Offense, you've got a veteran in Ryan, obviously, who's seen just about everything the league can offer. You've got Malik who's trying to get a fresh start and then you've got Will who's brand new. Do you kind of have to approach it differently with each of them in terms of where they are with their learning curve and adjusting to this new offense? Uh, you know, I think you teach them all the same. And, you know, that we all meet together, we're all in the same room. So you start at the 300 level, and if there's extra meeting time you got to have, there's extra meeting time you're going to have. But you don't ever want to slow the train down. I think you got to throw as much of them at as, as possible and go from there. With Will, and, and how much did his college game and the pro style set him up to come in and, and pick up at a, at a you know, I think Will's done a good job of just coming in and, and keeping his mouth shut and going to work. And um, obviously he played in a, a pro-style offense in, in Kentucky, so he's been in the huddle, he's called plays, he's been under center, and I think that kind of helped him with his transition so far. But we just asked the same thing that we asked Will for the other quarterbacks, just come out every day and get better and try to improve on our mistakes from the day before. What would you learn from your experiences in Atlanta? Uh, do you think, Charles, and how does that help you going forward? Yeah, well, you know, it's it's um, you know my first year in Atlanta. Obviously, we had Matt Ryan, who was a 14-year veteran, and then last year was Marcus, and you had a rookie in Desmond. And really, is what what I learned really from a rookie quarterback perspective is you've got to push the envelope with him. You've got to you've got to throw as much information at him, and let him grow from there. And there's going to be some struggles, and and you know there's going to be some hiccups along the way. But I don't think you can baby him. I think you just got to throw as much at him, see if it sticks, and have him grow each day. Uh, the goal is just to improve every day, and I think that's uh, the direction we're heading. Uh, be back out here with the guys, running around, doing uh, football stuff, getting back into the groove and knocking off maybe that post off season rust a little bit and uh, cleaning up the little things so you can be ready when camp rolls around. How about for you personally? I know the past couple of years have been kind of up and down with injuries, that kind of stuff. How's it, how you feeling physically? Yeah, I mean, that, that's just what comes with the game. That ain't, that ain't nothing to me. You know, handle it, knock it out and come back, uh, which I plan to do. Uh, I was excited to go in and have my first off season this year. And, uh, reach some goals and do some things so I could come back and I just feel like uh, they, they kind of paid off and I'm playing and feeling better and um, I just want to keep improving on that because uh, the season's not here yet. I got a couple more months to go. Seems like each year that goes by you're getting more and more comfortable with the defense and your role and is that is that accurate to say? Yeah, I think um, in general that's how most people would be when hopefully yeah. if they're if they're around the same place which I have been but uh, I definitely am more comfortable and can play faster and um, you know, just be a football player and not be a thinker out there. I think that's um, the biggest thing. And when, you, when me or anyone really can be go be a football player is when you're at your best and um, can give the team the most and whatever they need out of you.